God bless you, social media. I wanted to share for a few minutes about something that I found to be uh, quite profound uh, because I think that many of our challenges exist right underneath our noses, right in our own vicinity and proximity. So I wanted to share something that the Lord dropped into my spirit comes from St. Matthew verses 13, uh, St. Matthew 13 verses 54 through 58. Reads as follows, and when he was coming to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, insomuch that they were astonished and said, whence hath this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas and his sisters are they not all with us whence then has this man these things it says whence uh, then has this man these things and they were offended in him and but Jesus said unto them a prophet is not without honor save in his own country and in his own house and he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. I'd like to hang my hat on verse 57 where it reads, and they were offended in him because Jesus said unto them, a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. Today I'd like to share from the subject, for you hearing from the subject, no love for the home team. Saints, uh, amazingly, my brothers and sisters, in this thing called life, some of our greatest battles will be fought in our own zip codes and in our own area codes. While conventional wisdom would dictate that we would fare better on our own home turf, you'll eventually discover in the process of time that some of our greatest antagonists Amazing will be the very people that grew up with us and lived near and uh, lived near and with us. There's a popular proverb of the world. It, uh, that proverb goes as follows, is that familiarity breeds contempt. Uh, this basically means that when someone has an extensive knowledge, or close association with someone or something that it leads to loss of respect for that person or that thing. This theory pushes the thought that since these people have witnessed both your highs and your lows, that over time they'll find you commonplace or lose respect for you. I once heard the late Bishop Eddie Long once ask a crowd. He asked, do you know what a prophet is and his answer was a preacher from out of town bishop long said that the preacher from out of town could say everything that the preachers in town would say every week but it would only be counted as deep revelation when it came from the mouth of the preacher from out of town saints many times in your walk with christ you won't find any love from the home team. Some will say that you forgot where you came from. Some will say that you think that you are too much. Some will even ask you, do you remember what you used to do? Some saints even when, so saints, even when you're amongst your home team, you better make sure that you're wearing the whole arm of God. Some will never release you from the place in their mind that they have designed for you. Some will never allow you to rise above your many mistakes. Some will never afford you the space for a redo, the space for a rebranding, or a space for a retooling. That's why we all had better learn how to renew our own minds, because our minds will stay under attack from some members of our own home teams. Home is where one should be able to let one's guard down. Home is where one should be able to be at ease. But I'm telling you that there will be many occasions where there'll be no love for the home team. In this text, Jesus, 
the Son of God, the Word made flesh, came to his own country. He taught there to the point that he astonished the masses, but they couldn't receive from him because they had knowledge of him being the carpenter's son. While Jesus came to his own and his own received him not, Jesus' home, own home team was offended in him. Jesus himself could not do mighty works because of their own unbelief. Saints of God, I'm giving you this discourse because time has had so many to question their calling and so many to question their gift because of the responses that come from their own home teams. I can boldly tell you that there are some that are in the 901 that would never release me to be great. All because of some experience with me in school, work, or in the streets. Some will think that just because they got better grades than you and they went to a better college than you, that it dictates that they'll do better than you. Saints of God, God doesn't work like that. There will be many occasions where God will use the very stone that the builders rejected to become the chief stone of the corner. There will be times that God won't care about your upbringing and what side of the tracks that you grew up on once he decides to use you. As people of God, we have to realize that man often looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. I felt that one. I feel in my spirit that God's about to take some of us that have been overlooked our whole lives and God's going to call us to be overbooked. Saints of God, you have to keep moving even when you don't receive love from the home team. Jesus said in verse 57 that a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own house. Saints, I have to release this word because so many give up on the great mission that God has given to them individually because of the attacks or the small chitter-chatter from the home team. Jesus himself, who did miracles for breakfast, struggled to do mighty works amongst his own because, they're because of the unbelief of those who were part of his upbringing. Saints of God, don't you miss what God's trying to do in your life, trying to get everybody on board. That thing between you and God was a one-on-one. -on -one. It wasn't a conference call. Saints, you can't carry everyone into your tomorrow. Yes, we all have some disappointments, mistakes, failures, inhibitions, and proclivities that the home team has knowledge of, but God decided to use us anyway. Saints of God, the people in this text were enamored by the works of Jesus, but they couldn't get over his being the carpenter's son. They couldn't get over his nomenclature. They couldn't get over that he was a blue-collar worker. They couldn't get over that he had dirt under his fingernails. Saints of God, if they judge Jesus, then why in the world don't you think that you will be judged? There will be times where there'll just be no love for the home team. Maybe that's why Jesus, when he commissioned the disciples to go into uh, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel, maybe that was a slight foreshadowing to prepare us for the simple fact that there will be times that we will have to go out to even be received. There's considerable Bible for God calling one out of his his or her creature comforts and his hometown crew. Abraham was called out of from his own to look for a city whose builder and maker was God. Abraham left home with a suitcase and a promise. There will be times, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that God will call us to do likewise. Saints of God, even when there's no love for the home team, God expects you to keep moving towards purpose. Saints, these folks couldn't get over Jesus or his earthly father's occupation. And for doing so, people in this text, for the most part, they miss the miraculous. I think that the purpose, one of the purposes of this text is to let us all know that some of our greatest attacks will come from our home team. Yes, some in the 901 
and some in the 38126 will never receive from some of us because what they saw us do in elementary school, you broke Mr. Jones' window, you, 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 you clipped Sandra's hair, you stole Mr. So-and-so's uh, weed eater, and they ain't going to never let you forget it, even though God's called you in the greater, and God's called you in the more, and God's taking you to another place. There are some that are just so caught up with our yesterdays that they don't ever desire uh, to release us to our todays and tomorrows. If they won't receive and grew in a fence at the carpenter's son, then what do you think the crowd is thinking about truck drivers, garbage men, administrative assistants, and teachers' assistants that God decides to use? Saints, God can use whoever he wills, whenever he wills. The Apostle Paul, in writing to the church at Corinth, wrote in 1 Corinthians 1, verses 25 through 29, Paul wrote, Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. For, you, for ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised have God chosen. Yea, and things which are not to bring to naught the things that are. That no flesh shall glory in his presence. Saints, in verse 26, Paul is telling us that very few that God will ever call will come from the who's who. Very few of the rich and famous will ever receive the call of God. God chooses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. God's whole purpose of his method of choosing is that no flesh shall glory in his sight. Saints of God, I am, on my, I am of my own self nothing but I can do the impossible with God. I'm a man with weaknesses, frailties, uh, indiscretions, and proclivities, but God has decided to use me in this moment. Saints, some are so caught up with where we've been that they miss where the call of God on our lives could take them. We, there are some that are literally bankrupt at places where they could be blessed but they won't receive deliverance because deliverance comes from someone at home. You, know, you don't need to catch a plane, my brother and sister in Christ, to fly to this one or that one's conference uh, when deliverance is right up under your nose, right up in your face, right under your own eyes, many times resides the deliverance that you're seeking. God at times will use Kenny Mang from the old hood to be the vessel that God sends or uses to send deliverance your way. Saints, if I could be totally honest with you, I learned so much from the tongues of what some would call the unlearned. Uh, I've learned more from them than I have learned from these doctors of divinity. God can send a word your way from anyone. God can send a word through you to anyone. Saints, never allow the assault from the home team to stifle your kingdom effectiveness. Saints, once you learn to overcome the hometown hurt, God can use you greatly. Jesus did not mighty works in his own country. Some could never forget that this was the carpenter's son. They were offended at Jesus. And some are missing the blessing that you could be to their lives on today and tomorrow just because of your yesterday. People will design a place for you. I'm telling you again, they'll design a place for you in their minds, but you got to break out of that place. Saints, there will be many seasons where there'll be no love given to you from the home team. I tell folks all the time, you better get me when I'm free. You better get me while I'm still local. Saints of God, I believe that God has a day where he'll put on us enough global that even the hometown haters will have to jump on board. Saints, if they didn't receive Jesus, then why in the world do you expect them to receive you? Saints, even when there's no love for the home team, 
Never allow that to stunt your growth about your mission or negate your destiny. Saints, there will literally be times where you won't be celebrated amongst the home team. I know people that question their callings and question their gift because they're not receiving the kudos of the folks that live in their same area code or, or live in their same zip. Say something in them. Sometimes that's that thing, that familiarity, because they saw you break the window, because they saw you do something at the club. They can never release you to what God is calling you into. Saints of God, you got to get over the hometown hurt. I heard Dr. Uh, Alexander Pagani once talked about this thing called cupbearer hurt, where you pour the pour the the uh, the water and wipe the sweat and do the deeds of someone who turns out to be great, and then they forget you. Saints of God, many of the experiences that you received in your hometown, they're keeping you from being released to go global. Never allow your local to stop your global. I know that it's just sometimes, time and again on social media, I, I, like I said, I see, I share things and people copy me chapter and verse. Uh, they pin, copy and paste, and it goes viral. And, and, and even the folks in the local, they like it because they thought it came from somewhere else. Folks, you got to be able to get over all the hometown hurt and the hometown pain, and you got to be able to deal because sometimes, there's no love for the home team. I'm just calling you to win anyway. Be blessed.